Today is Friday the 12th of August, the year 2022. I'm a victim of stalking by a worldwide criminal network. I want to document yesterday. I went into the store, came back out the store, and this is my lunch bag. I bring the milk that I open in my home because if I leave it home, they tamper with it. The criminals come in, the stalkers, they poison me. When I when I came out of the store yesterday, this was dumped upside down and the milk that I had in it was coming out of it onto the seat. And the thing is, the cap on the milk was secure. I made sure. Also, the criminals came in and they broke something. That right there, this button, is missing from that side. They broke it off. That would have taken place yesterday. Last night, the stalkers, sometime during the day, I guess when I was gone, they put an aerosol in my apartment. It smells like charcoal like somebody's grilling. So it was about, I don't know, eight o'clock at night. I was sitting on the bed and I could see that the air in the room was hazy. I got up, I could smell it. And I went outside onto the balcony. I have a small balcony. My neighbor who lives above me and just over one, I said to her, do you smell somebody grilling? She says, yes. So, I mean, the aerosol that they released in my home was so strong. It came out the door and it traveled upstairs to my neighbor. She could smell it. So they're, they're trying to suffocate me these attacks are real. It's a worldwide criminal network who are stalking people in their homes, who are attacking people using aerosols, chemicals, frequency, poisonings. Something I have to do right now is I have to start throwing away some things. They spray my, my belongings with a chemical that I think of is like scopolamine. Uh, I've only heard about this product, I mean this thing in a movie, it makes you forget, it makes you ditzy. So they sprayed a, a bag that I had stored my winter clothes in with this product and this chemical, not a product, it's a chemical. And I took it to the laundromat, everything, and I washed the whole load three times and I couldn't get it out. So they come in every time I leave and they sprayed three backpacks. I have to throw them away. They've sprayed everything in this closet that I had locked up. I had I had um, spices and clothes and books and I, you know, I lock things away because I know that they're going to come in and tamper with it. They spray the whole closet down, everything in it I have to throw away. I've lost thousands of dollars in personal belongings because of these criminals that come in every time I leave. Recently they started breaking the lock on the inside of my door and I had to file a police report. You know, usually I just suffer through it because the police don't do anything to help you. But I wanted to disclose this thing about the chemicals. There's only one way to, to know it's been sprayed is if you breathe it in. Unfortunately, when you breathe it in, it does make you feel a little ditzy. And this is a chemical that I am certain I have smelled at places like thrift stores and Goodwill. It's on their clothing. It's on the stuff that's donated there. So this is all spiritual warfare. It's a worldwide criminal network. They tried to suffocate me last night using a chemical that's like charcoal. And it was verified, it was validated by my neighbor who lives upstairs, who was out on her balcony. And she said, yeah, I can smell it too. Pray for people. This is an adult audience only video. Today is Friday, August the 12th, the year 2022.